Bishop's Dark. I know it's the nicest day of the year, so I thank you for all coming in here and hanging out in the dark. Appreciate that. Give yourselves a round of applause. Ref DJ, you are tonight's loyal fans. Who am I? Ref DJ. Who are you? Loyal fans. Yes, thank you. All right, what you're about to see here are these two teams face off, playing comedy as a sport. How many people have seen a comedy sports match before? Woo! Wow, how many are seeing it for the very first time? Woo! Okay, so you two people, yeah, yeah. You two people pay attention. The rest of you just do whatever you normally do when you're not paying attention to the ref's field at the other comedy sports matches you've been to. Welcome. I will be calling these games. I will be calling any fouls. I'll be calling rotations, eliminations. And those, uh, they'll be competing for your last, I'm not picking that thing up. They'll be competing for your last, your applause, and for this unnecessarily large trophy. trophy at the end of this match, so stay tuned. Now, the two most important fouls I must go over with you. Number one being the groaner foul. Everybody stick your arms out like this. The groaner foul. Now, the groaner foul will be called if one of these players says something punny, something jokey, something uh, this dad might say to embarrass his kids in public. So if anyone else, if anyone else groans or he laughs, I'm going to blow my whistle. And call the groaner foul. But it's better demonstrated than talked about, so I'm going to kick it up to our announcer, Claire. Hey, Claire, do you have an example of a groaner foul for us this evening? Of course I do. What kind of pictures do turtles take? Oh, I don't know. What kind of pictures do turtles take? Shelfies. Ah, okay. I still, yeah. I was thinking you were going to say snapshots, so good on you for going somewhere else with it. I would blow my whistle. The scene would continue. At the end of that scene, the player would step up into the box and apologize to you, the Knights Loyal fans. Now, this is where you have a lot of power. Because you can accept their apology, and they walk away unscathed. You can reject their apology and we kick them off the comedy sports team. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, we don't do that anymore. So we'll just take two points away from their score, which for all of you that have seen a comedy sports match before, you know that could be the entire match. Now, the second and most important foul that I can call is the brown bag foul. Everybody do this hand gesture with me. The brown bag foul. The brown bag foul will be called if one of these players says something lewd, something crude, something I think has offended you or tonight, me or you tonight's loyal fans. I will place this bag over the player's head and they will have to wear it for the remainder of that game. Now, this is no apology for the brown bag foul because it's just inappropriate and I do not want any of the young children here to have to explain things to their parents on the way home and what that meant. Now, this is an automatic five-point deduction, and no refunds will be given. Oh, wait, that's my other job at Lady Foot Locker. So, but this is one foul I must warn. I can call on you, loyal fans. Let me say no. 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 Yes. And you might be wondering out loud and in unison, but Rev DJ, why would you call a foul on me? Rev DJ, why would you call a foul on me? Thing. She is now winning tonight's match. See how that works? I might call a foul on you because we need your suggestions to make improv work. Without your suggestions, it just looks like this. Oh, cool. It's a paper bag. Nobody wants to see that. So, I'll come around. Let's practice getting suggestions. Uh, these first three rows. What is your favorite color? Indigo. Indigo. All right. And from the... Close, this whole half side closest to me. What's your middle name? James. Martin. James. And uh, from this side of the room, what's the show that your friends spoil for you because you didn't get to watch it on Sunday night? Friends. Okay, friends. That works. Spoiler alert. Friends is back on TV. I like this crowd already. All right, that's about enough of my yapping. There is one last stand. We're going to calibrate the applause-ometer. So I want to start at a zero. We're going to go all the way up to ten. When I get to ten, I want you to erupt in thunderous applause as both of these captains 
make their way to the field. Anytime I call either one of these captains, I want you to recreate what we're about to do and go crazy. So let's hear a zero. Nice. No one fell for it. A one, two, three, five. Shake hands, want a nice clean match, nothing below the belt, play fair, play right, have a good time. All right, now this is usually where we do a coin toss, but I have a two-year-old daughter, so I don't have a lot of coins. So I think what we'll do is we will play, guess what Ref DJ had for lunch? You have five seconds to talk with your team and guess what I had for lunch. Been trying to eat healthier lately. You know, it's nice outside, go for walks, trying to eat fried foods. Let's see what the answers are. Okay. Panera mac and cheese in a bread bowl with a Coke Zero. <laughs> she didn't hear anything I told her. <laughs> Patty melt with a lettuce bun and you melted Dippin' Dots for your milkshake. <sighs> uh, I actually had a junior bacon cheeseburger and a chicken wrap from Wendy's. So I'm going to give it to the blue team. Yeah. Baby steps. Uh, all right, so you won the head coin toss there. Everyone would like to challenge the red team to start us off this evening. Do run wrap. All right. Assemble your teams. Let me get red, blue, red, blue behind me here. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the do run wrap, uh, the famous song from way back in the day by the Crystals. Uh, Madam on a Monday, his name was Jim. A do run, 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 do run, run. run. We're going to update that because when I look at this cast of players, I think rapping skills. Okay. Am I right? I am right. So, we'll get a name from the audience. Let's say it was Jim. The first player will say that name once. The second player will rhyme that name. The third player will have to rhyme that name three times. Anytime one of the players stutters, stammers, repeats a rhyme, maybe repeats a rhyme, or just looks to be funny, Cool, you passed. I will eliminate them. The last rapper standing will win five big points for their school. So, the first thing we need is uh, these first two rows. A one syllable person's name. Yes. What? Ted. Ted. Did you say Bill? Did you say Bill? Ah, oh, I thought she said Bill and I was going to be like, yeah. Never mind, it's an old joke. You might get it when they release the next movie. So, Ted. Start with Ted down here. Players, are you ready? Yeah! Oh, hands, are you ready? Yeah! Drop that beat. Start it down there. I bet him on a Sunday and his name was Ted. Did you run rap rap? Did you run rap? My mom sold my bed. Did you run rap rap? Did you run rap? I said yo! I said yo! This is my Ted. Yo! Did you run rap rap? Did you run rap? I have a hat and I put it on my head. Did you run rap rap? Did you run rap? This paper I will shred. Did you run rap rap? Did you run rap? I said yo. I put my tools in the shed. Yo. I always go to bed. Yo. I left her on rest.
commitment, so that is very honorable. Let me get the red captain, Natalie, to the...
team game that you saw some of the legacy. New choice! Alrighty, assemble your team for this game of new choice. We're going to start this seed. Anytime one of the players says or does something that I think they should change, I will blow my whistle and say, new choice. I will continue to blow my whistle until they make the best this new choiciest. Don't Google that because it's not words. Okay. So, for this suggestion, I need somewhere that you saved all your money to go for vacation and then you got there and it was just awful. Great Wolf Lodge. Where? Great Wolf Lodge. Great Wolf Lodge? <laughs> well, you apparently didn't find any of the secret passages to the hidden room, so that's your fault. But Great Wolf Lodge is your suggestion. Players, are you ready? Yes! yes. Wolf Pans, are you ready? New bell sound. Bonk. <laughs> Swash. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Great Lodge. I am George, and I'll be serving you today. How may I help you? Hi, George. My name's Cindy. I can't find my parents. <laughs> uh, new relatives here, unable to find. I can't find my godmother. <laughs> I can't find my long lost aunt Shirley. <laughs> Well, let me call her up real fast. <coughs> Shirley! <laughs> your child! Is that the front test? No, sir. Niece. Your niece! <laughs> is that the front test? Could you hurry up? This line is way too long. Oh my god! Shirley! <laughs> <laughs> Give her a reaction. I left the minute I saw you. Different frequency of time. I left ten minutes ago. I left ever since uh, the Great Depression. It's too sad. Well, don't be impressed about this. This is my new friend, George. I'm George. Hi, George. I have to go, you know, take care of some, like, Towels and stuff. You guys can take care of your family. It's a different reason to walk away. Oh, I have to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I left the fire running in the yard. Uh... <laughs> 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 Uh, I've been, I, I suddenly miss 
you, I realized your potential as Yoshi. A different Oscar winning moment. I realized my ways and your capabilities. And you're a winner. There we go! If you like the Red Team's game of Alexa, let me hear you make <laughs> Hey, uh, announcer Claire, what did that register on the applause-ometer? Two. Oh. <laughs> Can't wait to see where the ten is. And if you like Mrs. Zatar, more amazing. Come 
little, but now you're like, nah. That's Astronaut. Oh, Astronaut, oh, all right. <laughs> Astronaut, so <laughs> be yays. Ten 
to five going into this halftime. Uh, there's concessions out there. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, yeah, eleven. You're right. Yeah, eleven to five. Thank you. Uh, so grab some concessions. There's waters and Gatorades out there. Snacks. Go to the bathroom. We'll see you right back after this brief five-minute halftime. Relationship, uh, like boyfriend girlfriend, but how people interact on a daily basis. Silent so, treatment. What? <laughs> what was that? Wow. Well, that is that is true. So we'll go with husband and wife. <laughs> That's more what I meant. Was like the actual dynamic and not the oh. I'm mad at you part. So uh, we go husband and wife. Players, are you ready? Yeah. I'm making the 
that team would be your red team! Oh. 
So I had to buy purple shoes. And now I have brown shoes. And I'm not here. Uh, she would just pry her locker door open, but uh, 
I take a trip down to Shelly. She'll take care of her locker, no problem. <laughs> Thank you so much. Weird. Mailman. Well, when I'm on the job, no one opens their mailboxes, so they just get rusty and they won't open. So each mail truck is equipped with a crowbar. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Let's see it. 
Okay, let's see. Then. So, first girl jump! I got it! <laughs> I can do better! What can you do better? I can just jump. Okay. <laughs> let's see it. There he goes! I didn't have to tell him! <laughs> Hey, waiter. 
based upon the classic, hey waiter, there's a fly in my suit. Okay? So come sit here. What's your name? I'm Elena. Elena, give it for Elena! is it's pretty simple. You have one line to say, and that is, hey waiter, there's a blank in my suit. Now you're not going to say the blank, we're going to get suggestions from the audience to fill in the blank. So let's pretend the suggestion was banana. They come up. Hey waiter, there's a banana in my suit. Oh gosh, let me split the check for you. <laughs> and throwing it away. Yay. So, if they make a joke and you laugh, they're gonna get a point. If they make a joke and you groan, they're gonna get a point. If they make a joy, joy, joy. If they make a joke and you make this noise, yeah, this is really, it's fair, it's fine, I'm used to it. They will get no points. And, man, all the days. Uh, and uh, Claire will be keeping track of the points. And whoever gets the most will win the match in that giant oversized trophy. So the first thing I need is an example. I need a fruit that's not a banana. Avocado. Avocado. Avocado is the first suggestion. Players, are you ready? Yes! Oh, man, are you ready? Yes! Yeah. Are we bringing our last? Oh, yes! Any players from the first half? I'm so sorry, that's from last 
last Friday night. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 